Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk on how you can use trading view to analyze forest using your mobile phone. The first thing to do is to click on the link, the trading view link below. Then you're going to see their plans. They have the basic, the pro, pro plus, and premium. If you have cash now, you can go for any of these, but if you don't have any cash, you can start with the basic, which is free. You click on start now. And you can sign up using your Google, your Facebook, your email. So I want to use my Google. Sign up then. Okay, so when you are true, you go to your Play Store. And you search for trading view so you download and you install it and then you open the app okay you go to your profile click profile then you just log in your details so it's going to show your watch list if you send all the currency pair that you don't want you can hold and delete keep on just hold and delete hold and delete so you can also add to your watch list let me hold and delete this Delete then to add. I'll click on the plus sign. I'll just type the name. So we have different brokers here the FXM, randoforest.com. I like using FXM, so you choose your broker or any of the brokers there. Then to keep on adding, keep on pressing the plus sign. Then the next thing you want to do is to go to chart like click on any of the currency pairs it's going to take you to chart this is the charts page the first thing you need to do is to check your time change it to your time zone and plus one gem since i'm going to do for plus one okay so this is my time zone then the next thing you want to do you can add favorite on your time frame like that is on one hour can add by clicking the start to make it my favorite three minutes five minutes one hour four hours so just add your time frame you want to use for the trading then the next thing i'm looking about is your tools your trade line clicking star and then my favorite the horizontal parallel channel so there are more tools that you can use okay so i'm going to rotate my screen all right So I can drag this my favorite. I can use it. So one hour time period that I can draw. And drag it this way to see how the market is going. Also I can change the color. So any color I want. Add the thickness also. Okay, so that's on my trade line. So also, it seems you for all the all the tools, all my drawing tools. I can also use my parallel indicator. So I can also change the color and the thickness. I can drag it, change the color, change the thickness. So 
to delete if I, I can delete by clicking on it and delete so if I want to do if I want to do continuous drawing I'm going to click on this pen and padlock then I can continue my drawing so to stop I'll click on the pen for me to stop so I've stopped my continuous drawing so delete everything I'll click on this delete remove drawings everything is gone I uh, can change the time frames or well, let me add 15 minutes let me add 15 minutes so I can change the 15 minute time frame so I can increase it here and reduce it so if I change to 5 minute time frame the candlestick is going to change Four hours it's going to change so these are just the time frames of our australian dollar against new new zealand dollar is going i can change today months or weeks time frame so any of the time frame i want to use okay so this is for time frame if i want to use this second time frame i can't because i'm using the basic so I need to upgrade to maybe the premium or the pro plus or the pro to use those seconds so since i'm using free i can't use more than three indicators also so let's go to the indicators you see here yeah, indicator then you can search for any of the indicator you want you can search So I'm going to rotate my screen. Then if I click on star, I made it my favorite. If I go to favorite, see on the indicator data, I can click on the volume. Then let me go to my charts, let me rotate. yeah so this is the volume indicator the green is those buying the red is those selling so this is it for the indicators there are much indicators you can use but you can use one than three if you're using the basic plan then we have candlesticks if i can change it to bar i want to trade in bars or line but I prefer using candles. Let's check on these oval candles. I just prefer using candles. And also, we have the alert feature by clicking on alerts. And you can set the price at which you want the alarm to ring to notify you that the pace has crossed this value you can edit the value then you click on create so my alert you can see this orange line that's my alarm and now i receive the alert that has crossed this so i can start trading so you can change the alert to any of the frame you want to any of the value you want to use and you receive a message that has crossed for you to check there's only one alert you can use at a time. If you want to use more alarm, you need to upgrade. So, very easy to use. You can practice with this. Don't forget, check your time, your tools, your indicators, your alarm, your time frame, your watch list to add more currency pairs. So, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I click on the subscribe button is free and you can also join my telegram group by clicking on the telegram link on the comment box so bye